What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find multiples of numbers. So, finding multiples are actually pretty easy. Okay, so there's two really simple ways of doing it. First of all, let's say we wanted to find multiples of five. Okay, if I wanted to find multiples of five, the first way I could do that is just by counting by fives. Okay, so I could just say five, 10, 15, 20, okay, you get the idea. And then we can just keep going forever. So all these numbers here, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. these are all multiples of five. Five fits in all of them evenly. Now, another way we could find multiples of five is by taking five and then just multiplying it by whole number. And we're gonna do this uh, we'll do it a few times. We're gonna take five and then we're just gonna multiply it by a whole number. Okay, so let's start with one, right? One's a whole number. So what's five times one? Well, that's just equal to five. All right, let's try another one. What's five times two, right? Two's a whole number. Five times two is 10. Okay, let's just keep going in this order. What's five times three? Five times three is 15. We'll do times 4. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And then we could just keep going with our whole numbers. Times 5, times 6, times 7, etc. Now you might notice this already, but all these answers that we got are also multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, right? So exact same thing we got over here. Just two different ways of doing it. And something really important to notice here also is that multiples are always bigger than the number you started with. So we started with the number five, but all the answers or all the multiples that we got are bigger than five. In some cases, they are equal to exactly five, so like right here, but the rest of the numbers are always gonna be bigger than five. So 10 is bigger than five, 15 is bigger than five, etc. So a way you can remember multiples is multiples are massive. There's a little mnemonic device that you can use, okay? What do I mean by multiples are massive? So again, whenever you start with a number, your multiples are either going to be equal to, we had a couple equal to's, but in most cases, greater than. They are going to be bigger. They are going to be massive numbers. So. 10, 15, 20, these are all bigger than five. Okay, so let's do one more example. Now, let's say I wanted to find multiples of 12. So remember, multiples of 12 are gonna be either equal to or greater than the number 12. And how do we find those? Again, there's two ways. We can either just count by 12s or we can multiply 12 by another whole number, right? So multiply it by one, then multiply it by two, multiply it by three. So let's do that one more time. Okay, so first of all, if we're gonna count by 12s, well, we would start with 12, right? Then we would just add 12 to that, which would be 24. Then we would add 12 to that, which would be 36. Then we would add 12 to that, which is 48, right? And then we could just keep going. And then the other way, and then the other way is by taking our original number, right, 12, and then just multiplying it by whole numbers. So let's multiply it by one. What do we get? 12, okay? Let's multiply it by two. What do we get? Get 24, right? Let's multiply it by three. What do we get? Get 36, right, and so on. 12 times four would just be 48. And again, you can see the numbers are the exact same. So we have 12, 24, 36, 48. 12, 24, 36, 48. Okay, so all these are multiples of 12. As you can see, in some cases, they're equal to 12, right? So we have a 12 here, we have a 12 here. That's what we started with. But the rest of the numbers are gonna be bigger than what we started with, right? 24, 36, 48, all these numbers are bigger than 12. Okay, so I think multiples are pretty straightforward, but I wanna phrase the question a little bit differently just to kind of throw you off a little bit and get you thinking. So, what if I asked you, 
is 15 a multiple of 5? So all I'm asking is, is 15 a number that 5 fits into evenly? How would we figure that out? Okay, so again, we could count by fives or we could multiply by whole numbers. So I'll do it both ways real quick just to show you. So if I wanted to know if 15 is a multiple of five, let's count by fives and see if we land on 15. Five, 10, 15. Well, that was easy, right? We landed right on 15. So 15 is a multiple of five because five goes into 15 evenly. And how many times does five go into 15? Well, that's why the multiplication method is really helpful. So for example, if we were just multiplying by whole numbers again, so if we did five times one, that equal five. If we did five times two, that would be equal to 10. If we did five times three, that would equal 15. Okay, so going back to our original question, is 15 a multiple of five? Yes. How do you know? Because five fits into 15 evenly, right? How many times? Three times, right? Because five times three is equal to 15. Okay, so let's do a couple more of these and then I think you'll have a good grasp on it. Okay, so what if I asked you, is 32 a multiple of eight? So does eight go into 32 evenly? Right, so if I count by eights, will I land on 32? Well, let's try it. 8, 16, 24, 32. Hey, look at that. We landed right on 32. Okay, so is 32 a multiple of 8? Yes. How do you know? Because when we counted by eights, we landed exactly on 32. Okay, and a follow-up question to that is, how many times does eight fit into 32? Well, we could use our multiplication method, right? So eight times one, that's equal to eight. Eight times two is equal to 16. Eight times three is equal to 24. Eight times four is equal to 32. Okay, so eight fits into 32 four times. Or another way you could look at it is when we were counting by eights up here, we landed on 32 on the first, second, third, fourth number. So this was number four, right? So times four and four, same thing. Okay, so let's do one last one. Is 19 a multiple of six? So again, what am I asking here? I want to know, does six fit into 19 evenly. Okay, so when we count by sixes, do we land on 19? Well, let's try it. 6, 12, 18, 24. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, so as you can see, when we were counting by sixes, we did not land on 19, right? 19 would obviously be somewhere in here between 18 and 24. So that means six does not fit into 19 evenly. So is 19 a multiple of six? No, because six does not go into 19 evenly. And the other way we can check that is obviously with the multiplication test that we've been doing. So if we had six times one, that would just be six, right? Six times two, that would be 12. Six times three, that would be 18. Six times four, that would be 24. So whenever we multiply six by a whole number, we never land on 19. So again, 19 would land somewhere in here between 18 and 24. All right, guys, so there's your intro into finding multiples of numbers. I hope it was helpful. If you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's anything else you need to check out, Definitely check it out, and I'll see you there.